life-threatening health conditions are common throughout Africa. Patients face a lack of access to appropriate medical treatment. Many people were resigned about the overall medical situation in Africa, including the Ivory Coast. One man made up his mind to overcome these impediments. Professor Akundun Ungasan, a nephrologist living in Abidjan. This is his story. I'm Dr. Kemo Akundun Gesson. I graduated from medical school uh, of Abidjan since 1995. In fact, uh, my vocation for transplantations was born at the time I was in Brussels. I've been impressed by my master, Professor Daniel Abramovic, in his way uh, of caring uh, the patient, the transplanted patients, and also in his way of taking nephrology and transplantations. The situation in Ivory Coast uh, regarding the chronic kidney disease is quite alarming. If we consider uh, the incidence of chronic kidney disease in uh, developing countries to be about 300 to 400 cases per uh, one per inhabitant per year, per one million inhabitant per year, we can number um, about 8,000 to 10,000 patients suffering from chronic kidney disease in my country. On the dialysis field, we've got just five dialysis centers in Ivory Coast, three in the capital and two in the centers of the country. The ones who have some resources will go in the private, in the private centers, and the remaining will die because they have nothing, but they have no resources, they are penniless. I met a Novartist uh, five years ago in Senegal. At the time, he was organizing a conference to take a stock uh, of transplantation in Africa. And after the meeting, Novartis had decided to help us start our kidney transplantation program. Without Novartis, kidney transplantation will have never taken place in my country. In fact, Novartis has brought uh, some, some experts from France to convince the government that the preliminaries to perform kidney transplantation is to have a decree. And the decree has been signed by the president on January 2012. The, the main obstacle have been the decree, have been uh, to have the decree. And Novartis has played a major role. For the last 15 months, we have uh, um, uh, performed um, um, 10 kidney transplantations with success. And for the time being, the patients are doing very well. Also, I'm very thankful to Novartis. And without Novartis, kidney transplantation will never be able in my country. Professor Akundun Ungasan went the extra mile to make kidney transplantation in Côte d'Ivoire possible by challenging stakeholders and decision makers. The curing of this patient is very costly for the government. So health the professional like myself need to draw attention to the government about the necessity to take measures to prevent this deadly disease. Our collaboration is uh, important if uh, we want uh, kidney transplantation to to go ahead.